hi guys welcome back to mountain mount project so this is a continuation of the video from the last time here yeah, the last video was about filling of the foundation and also ramarin it here in this video we are going to be checking out the german floor and also we are going to be building the foundation of the tank base which is where the tank is going to stay for the house we are doing it together because it consists of casting so while we are casting the german floor we should also cast the um, tank base too as you can see it was a good job ramarin the ground so now the ground is ready for the german floor to do the german floor we need to make sure that the foundation is level so that's why you can see we are doing some adjustments on the foundation where it's not level the carpenter has done some adjustments and we are going to fill that up with concrete so it will be level with the foundation so after that now you can see the welder or the iron bender is going to do his job he's going to put the iron rods going to, which is also called the mat so you can see it's called a mat because the um iron rods have been made like a mat in the shape of a mat in places like in dry land they don't really need to put a mat because you know the house you don't need to be scared of it sinking so you can see the iron bender has done its job perfectly this has to be done in a swamp area or waterlogged area because the foundation needs to be held strong and firmly because of the weight of the house and because of the condition of the water beneath the ground so once the letter water level rises you won't have problems or issues of water entering your house in fact after after laying this mat you're also supposed to put the um the nylon or whatever it's called so but that's not really necessary as this mat has been laid it's most important to lay the mat perfectly because it's going to hold the iron rods of the foundation together so that's why the iron rods need to be laid carefully and underneath the um, iron rods of the foundation as you can see binding wire needs to be used where it's needed and it needs to have been filled and rammed well so you can see we have also filled the tank base up with the iron rods which is needed the iron rods used for this base foundation is 16 mm so because water is very heavy so it needs to be really strong and this foundation needs to be really really strong too so as you can see the carpenter has done his job the uh, iron bender has done his job so next we need is concrete which is um, granite cement and sand so we are ready for doing that for the foundation base and we are also ready for doing that for the flooring of the German floor for the um, intended building of a one-story building so as you can see the iron bender has finished this job as we have also filled the lapses of the foundation where it needs to be balanced and you can see the iron rods were straight before but now it has been bent to hold the iron rods of the foundation properly and it has been binded turned back carefully to hold the iron of the foundation to make it strong for life this is the tank base it's already casted looking all nice so now the foundation that has been casted the carpenter is going to eat more of these planks to make it higher so it can be as high as the foundation level these are some of the materials that are going to be used for the German floor this is the granite which is going to be mixed with the sand and cement to make concrete to fill up the level of the foundation above which we have laid the mats so this is the sand two trips of sand and then one trip one ton of granite is what we use so this is the water it's a wetland so just dig the well and get water so that's why your foundation needs to be high and solid 
so your building can last forever and not sink. So you can see the finishing touches of the German floor has been done by the iron bender. Now the carpenter is going to come and eat the layer around for the space where the concrete is going to stay for the German floor. As you can see the foundation for the tank base is also dried and ready for taking it higher. So we are doing both together because it's more cheaper when you are doing the granite work and the um, construction work together. You can see now we are making the tank base higher with more ions. It needs to be strong because water is heavy. That is why we are going through this to make sure the tank base is strong enough. You can see there is so many ions and these iron rods are being welded together to hold together for a lifetime. So that's why you can see they are being welded carefully and perfectly. These iron rods have screws. This is after the tank base have been done. The screw for the uh, for the scaffolding of the tank is going to be tied onto those bolts. So that's why this work needs to be done properly. If there is any mistake, they need to correct it. So that's why they are being directed to make sure the job is well done. You need to monitor these things. Otherwise, there are going to be a lot of mistakes on your site if you are not there. So that's why you need to employ proper care people who are going to care for your job. Like it's theirs. So that's how we do the tank base. We make it strong and make sure it's well done to the level of the foundation so the house won't be higher than the tank and the tank would also not be higher than the foundation you know that's one of the things you have to go through when you are dealing with um, a waterlogged area or a swamp area so we are ready for German flooring that's why we have to make sure this is done so as they are German pouring the concrete they also pouring the concrete in that foundation for the tank too. As you can see, the carpenter is doing his job, putting the planks around because that is the level. It's like a coach of a coach of concrete poured on every layer of the foundation. So this is how the house is being constructed. First, you construct the foundation, then you fill up the foundation you put the mat then you're now going to pour the concrete on top of it so this is how the house is done you can see the carpenters doing their job the carpenters put the wood up to the level of the foundation so this is how it needs to be done we made sure that the base is very strong so it can accumulate the rest of the load that is coming up with it so as you can see the carpenter is done done with his job now the concrete is next you can see this is how you have to make sure your site is ready before they pour the concrete if you are building in a swamp area or a waterlogged area this is what it takes if you don't go through this then your house is at risk of sinking in future please make sure to go through the right means so you won't have any regrets in future so you can see everything is ready once they are filling the um, the foundation of the building of the house with the granite they will also be filling this place this uh, foundation for the tank base they are going to be also filling it with the granite so it's like you're doing two works at once this is how it's supposed to be like it saves you more cost and it saves you more time so you just do everything regarding the concrete work do it at once so not that you finish building the house then you now have to start constructing the foundation for the tank base again on its own so this is how it's done the carpenter has done his job carefully so you can see and it has, it has to be really strong so once the concrete is being poured, the wood is not going to pull out. These are some of the mistakes some carpenters make too. So you need to be careful and watchful for all these things. So 
this is it the concrete is being poured then once the concrete is poured it's spreaded and it's being masked so it can be thick and strong you can see for the tank base also it's been filled with concrete that side needs to be filled the work is ongoing this is how it is so as you are learning please don't forget to share this video this is how a German floor is being made the concrete is being brought onto the sides of the foundation and it's being poured spreaded round as you can see there is another worker they are going to pour in the tank base this saves you more cost so I think and I believe this is the best way to do your work at your site so you can see the granite is being spread and it's being mashed with this wood it's going to be mashed after it's been spread with the shovel so it can be strong so that's how it is then you can see the workers laborers bringing in the concrete then the concrete is being mixed with the concrete mixer there pardon me for the shaky video so this is how it is when the thermal floor is done so as you can see smooth nice let me let you enjoy the view of the German floor so this is how the German floor looks been successfully done now next thing is for the carpenters to come and remove the wood on the edges when this concrete is fully dry you can see the tank base we have left only the iron rods where um, the screw where the screw of the scaffolding of the tank is going to be screwed can see this is the rest of the materials after the German floor has been done the granite was used a lot then this was where the mixing of the concrete was done this is how the job is now you can see it's more drier looking how nice and better now so that's how it is to make sure your German floor is properly done in a swamp area or a waterlogged area please subscribe to my page share this video with your friends let them understand what it takes to build in a waterlogged area or in a swamp area this is Abuliado first stack extension so as you can see the water is heavy so the tank base also needs to be strong as much as your foundation is strong the weight of the building equals the weight of water also so you can see also the middle of the tank base have been filled after the work has been done so now it's going to be just poured concrete a bit to make it stronger and it's a nice evening brought my family to check the site and the project out they are amazed and they are happy about it so i love you guys subscribe to my page for more videos take care one love